Well, hello, hello. Uh, if you like this content, please like and subscribe as usual. Click the little bell icon, as I always say. Uh, that's that out of the way. So, yeah. Um, once again, you find me in a graveyard. And uh, this is getting to be a bit, of a bit of a habit, starting these videos in a graveyard. But on this particular occasion, it's a very special graveyard, and I'll show you show you where we are in a minute. We're not going to stay here all night. Um, we're going to head kind of in behind the church here because that's something I want to photograph there. And then hopefully, if I have time, we'll head up the hill, which is kind of behind you there. Uh, we'll head up that hill and I'm going to try and get a sunset shot, hopefully. So that's the plan. Let's see how it turns out. So this is what we've come to photograph here. Uh, not a long walk from the car. The car is about 10 yards away in that direction. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. This is the grave of Rob Roy. So I'm going to try and get a photograph of that. Now, the kind of common picture that you'll see of this grave is taken from about here. Am I still in the picture? Yes, I am. Take it from about here, just looking straight down. Um, at the graves and at the, the thing at the back here, but I'm going to try and get something that's just a wee bitty kind of different, a bit more artsy, maybe. I'll have a wee think, see what I can come up with. So I kind of wandered around the kind of best position that I found probably isn't the best position to put up a tripod and it's too dark if I just move over here it's too dark to um, to work without a tripod unless I up my ISO which I'm going to have to do so I'll up my ISO if I press all the right buttons uh, to run about ISO 800 or so I think yeah and that's going to be an ISO 160 because what I thought I could do handheld it's going to have to be handheld because I don't want to put my tripod up on Rob Roy's grave, which I would need to do away in here. That's just not very nice. Stick it on YouTube. Here's me desecrating a grave. But anyway, we've got this uh, McGregor despite them across here. Can you still see me? I don't know if you can. I hope you can. <laughs> McGregor despite them right across here. So I'll go handheld like that. What I really wanted was kind of along here, but you can't really read it. Okay, so it's my 16mm prime that I've got in here and I'm just going to focus right up on there and grab the shot just like that. Well, that's my obligatory graveyard shot out of the way. We're going to head over this way now uh, because I've got something else in mind. We're not sticking to, to graveyards all night, so come on, let's go this way.
So we've come down behind the church, and I hope you can hear me Oops, over the rush of the water here. Um, because, yeah, this is really partly what I came to photograph up here, not the graveyard. It just happens to be there. So, um, I thought I'd catch this picture of the waterfall. I've wanted to get this for a while. I've got the camera set up. It's not too precarious, but getting down here, you have to climb over these roots and things. It's a bit slippy. Ideally, I should be over there, but I really don't want to kind of endanger myself or anything like that. I mean, it's not, it's not a long fall. Two or three metres. Far enough. Don't really want to fall in. Alternatively, I could be across. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but over there, there's a kind of stony beach thing. But again, getting down to that might be quite precarious, quite difficult, so I'm not going to go for it. I'm just a bit of a wimp. So I've set up a shot now. Um, and what I'll do, you obviously can't see it, but I'll stick it onto the, the movie thing here. Like that. Oh, and it's too dark, as always. There we go, turn that right down. So I've got that now. We're building on the rule of thirds, as always. Um, ideally, what I would like, like I say, is to be down there so the waterfall is rushing towards the camera. But I'm not going to do that because it's dangerous. So next best thing, we've got all the water down here. I don't know if you can see the waterfall at the very back there, the very, very tiny one just up ahead of here. And that's running straight down the rule of thirds, straight down here, and then out the side of the picture. Meanwhile, we've got this other waterfall across the far side here, running down straight across that bottom rule of thirds, joining up and out the far side of the picture. So that's my shot. Just straight down. Okay, so fairly simple, fairly easy shot. I'll uh, switch the movie off now. I'm going to switch it back up to about F10, which has given me an exposure time of one third of a second, which is maybe just a wee bit too much for uh, for a waterfall. So what I'll do if I take the ISO Oh, I saw 100 now, but I'm going to put that to 200. It'll give me half a second, which is probably better for a waterfall. Certainly one of this kind of this kind of torrent we've got here, you know, with a lot of water moving very fast. So that's what I'll do. Uh, what am I at? F10, point six per second, ISO 200, and oops, focus up. Take the shot. One, two, three, click. So that's the uh, the graveyard and the waterfall out of the way. And now we're on to the final shot of the night. And I'm replaying one of my greatest hits here. Me pecking and patting up the hill. <laughs> so yeah, um, oops, dodged the horse shit. So yeah, we're gonna climb this hill. I hope it's not gonna take me too long because I want to get sunset and it's, just over half an hour till sunset, so hopefully it won't take too long to get up there. Otherwise, this vlog's gonna be a dud. Build it up, and nothing happens at the end of it. Tell you what, I'm beginning to think that I should take up street photography. Wouldn't have all this hard work doing that. Just, you know, running around, snapping pictures of people, taking them by surprise. <laughs> None of this puffing and pecking up hills. Anyway, I'm sure there's more to it than that. Before anyone writes in the comments. But, no. <laughs> Certainly doesn't involve this. Right, well, the path has evened out a bit now. And uh, I don't need to puff and pant quite so much. I'm still out of breath. I'm out of shape, I really am. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. So yeah, I took some B-roll, which I'm sure you've seen, but 
I can't be bothered. I don't have time, really, to swap the camera from the selfie stick onto the tripod for some nice shots of me climbing up this path. So you'll see to make do with a close-up of my lovely face like this. Anyway, we're nearing the top now. And uh, at least I think we're nearing the top now. It's been, what, three years since I was last year? Something like that. Um, and I came during the day and I thought, that'd be a great place to go at sunset. The sun is not quite in the right place, I don't think, to get a real sunset, but hopefully we'll get some colour in the sky. And even if we don't, um, we'll get a nice view, if nothing else. Right, well, I have made it just about in time. The sun is going down kind of behind me here, so there's not a great deal of colour in the sky. I think it looks like it might be kind of hazy across the uh, across there where I want to take the picture. But just take a look at that view. So that's me, I've got the camera set up, I've, I've worked out a composition, relatively easy composition as you can probably guess because it's very, very obvious what I'm going to do. Let me stick the movie on. Um, oops, that's just a little too dark. Under, if I turn my ISO up just as so you can see it, there you go. I'm at ISO 640 for that, just for the movie, and F4. Uh, yeah, so we're looking straight down the glen. This is Loch Boyle, by the way. We are starting to get some colour in the sky, as I said, uh, but not as much as we uh, I probably would have liked. Nevertheless, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bracket it because the sky is relatively bright and the, the glen is relatively dark, so hopefully by doing that we should be able to pull some colour out of it. There's a lot of midges around, I wish I'd put on some kind of repellent. Uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, you look at the movie, you can see I've got over here the whole of the, the loch just running straight up through this row of thirds, through this row of thirds. We've got the mountains right along this line here. Yeah, uh, the lower one, there's not a great deal happening, but there's not much I can do about that. So that's the composition. Nice and simple. Now I'm going to get the shot before the colour disappears from the sky. Uh, so let me just switch that off again. I'm going to turn my ISO back to ISO 100. There, okay, and I'm going to turn my f stop because I was at f4 just for that. There, I'm up at f10, which is giving me at the moment a 1.6 of a second exposure, but I'm going to bracket, so I think I'm doing either three or five. I can't remember what have I got here. I'm at five, that might take a bit too long. I'll take it down to three, okay? So, three stop, three stop brackets, and uh. Focus up, oh, oh, press the right button, Douglas. Focus up. There, I just switched the movie again, briefly there. Don't want that, you'll not see it. So yeah, I'm focusing on these hills across here. Uh, right, okay, so quickly now. Uh, one, two, three, click. Tell you what, they know how to make viewpoints around here. This is fantastic. Great view. I think I've got a nice picture, hopefully. Um, 
hope you've enjoyed it if you have then just do the usual please like please subscribe um leave a comment down below whatever it is click on the little bell icon over that way in the corner somewhere um, and that'll let you see you'll get a notification every single time I put up one of these videos and I'm not always in a place as picturesque as this you know sometimes I'm in graveyards like I was earlier on but then uh, sometimes I do walks like I did last week uh, if you've not seen that one by the way it was a I quite enjoyed making that one, the one that we did last week up and over the Menteith Hills, which from here are, get a grip on my geography, just over that way somewhere. This is Loch Voyle, Loch Venneker's kind of just down the next lane, if you like. I think, I'll need to check on that, but I think it is. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, if you enjoyed it, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please hit the little bell icon. Uh, that's it, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the view. Bye. Bye.